anyhow. I've travelled in here today to change the batteries over and SIM cards in the cameras. So I won't be up here for about another 20 weeks because I get quite busy with my pigeons. Uh, and the road was a bit tricky, seeing there was a lot of trees across it and a bit of snow and a bit of snow melt. So I think I won't come up till it warms up. Okay. Everything seems to be in the same place I left it. Nothing's been tampered with. Uh, what I'll do, I'll pack this up and we're going to go in a little bit further to that just to see what happens. No spiders or little snakes are in there. Oh, she's all clear. Oh, the Reconix camera. Let's just check it out. And I think it's finally ran dead. Well, it's been a long time. Hang on. I was reading the card. So maybe it wasn't dead. Still 99% battery life and 555 pictures. Alright, we'll swap the cards over. See what we've got. Well, there was nothing interesting caught in the um, recorders this time. Uh, they, they only ran for the first five days, but the cameras have been up there months and months. And once again, on the camera, all we caught was a lot of wildlife. Now, on the plot watcher, I did catch something white that was running past the camera so quick. And here it is in slow motion. And if you closely look at it, it's definitely got to be a dingo. Anyhow, here are the wildlife photos off the Reconix camera. Okay, we found a really good spot, I think. 
as you can hear, we're right next to a, a bit of a pond with a bit of water running. So we were marching through the bush and we heard it and we thought we'll go towards the sound of the water and we found a little pond. So I set the plot watcher just there. Anyhow, it's overlooking this big mossy bank. And this big mossy bank is right next to a bit of a waterfall over there. And that's probably roughly the view of the plot watcher looking straight up this mossy rock. Anyhow, the Reconics is set up on this tree. So just across there, a fellow researcher set up his video trail camera on a little drinking hole. So hopefully we get something over there. So the Reconics is facing down this well-worn trail. And we're not going to be here for maybe 20 weeks. Anyhow, a mate of mine gave me a rib cage of a deer. So I've wired it up to the tree and the Reconyx camera will be overlooking this for the next 20 weeks. So if we don't get a yowie, at least we'll get some really good wildlife, hopefully. It looks like a really good area, this. There's trails coming into it everywhere. But I'll stand over there just to give you an idea how big that rib cage is. Anyhow, that should bring something in. 